All right, so this is the back page of the isotope worksheet. So uh, we have two formulas. And uh, first, let's look at this question. So uh, we had to find the mass number, right, by adding up the um, proton and neutron together because we were not giving atomic mass. We can run atomic mass to become mass number because we don't have it. So we had to add the proton and neutron together to become 13 and he become 12. You have to show me your math. So um, we fill in the electron, we fill in the atomic number and the mass. So then we can write the mass is 13,6c, 12,6c. So from this, we can tell that this one is an atom because the same mass number as the periodic table. This will be isotope because it's different. So since it's atom, we name them carbon atom. This will be carbon dash 13, right? The element and then the new mass number. All right, let's look at the second question. All right, we're giving electron and neutron. So electron, same thing as proton, will be A and A. Atomic number also A. Now mass number will be, you add up the proton and neutron together, 16 and 17, show me the math. And again, you write down the max, okay, the max. And because this is the same as the, uh, the one on the periodic table, this will be atom, oxygen atom. This will be isotope because it's not the same mass number. So the isotope, oxygen, that's 17. And um, here we were told chromium 58, chromium atom. So it obviously tells you that this is an atom. This will be isotope. So if you look up chromium, we can tell the proton is 24. Electron then will be 24. Atomic number will be 24. And uh, chromium 58 tell me that the mass number is 58. Chromium atom will be atom. So we have to use the periodic table, um, the, uh, the atomic mass round number, which is 52. Okay, this is like atom. We can tell it's 52 because atom, we can find the number from the periodic table. We round at 52. And then neutron, we have to use this equation. Mass number minus atomic number. So 58 minus 24 is 34. 52 minus 24 is 28. So we go back to write the max. Okay. And the last one is... Um, we stick on this one onto potassium because I know this question like is a little awkward is the mass number 39 and 40 can be calcium, can be potassium. So I'm going to stick it on potassium. So on the quiz, I will make sure that I will give you a really distinctive one. You will not get like confusing about like potassium and calcium because these two numbers are very close. So I'm sticking on potassium. So um, this is the atom, this isotope. They tell you that this atom is isotope. So this will be um, 19. Okay, this will be 19 because the atom, the mass number is 39, right? And then the isotope, this is 40. So we know that it's 19, 19, okay? Electron 19, proton 19. And neutron will be mass number minus the atomic number was 20. This will be 40 minus 19 is 21. So because this is atoms, we named it potassium atom. This is potassium 40 because the mass number is 40. And then we get the mass number.